Production means profit. At least you can say production interruption is the enemy of profit. But it's more than that. Depending on the planned intensity and industry, today up to 60% of the complete production costs depend on the efficiency of the maintenance and asset management. So, what is the driver of efficiency in the factory of the future? To this effect, we have to talk to Konmoto. My name is Ralf Czapanski. Welcome to the Business Debate. Needs Blechschmidt, Konmoto. In terms of music, it means moving or with movement. What makes you move in business with Konmoto? We make uh, change happen since 1990, uh, over 28 years. We are moving our clients to the right direction related to a higher production equipment, reliability, higher productivity uh, with all related necessary changes for people, for the organization and even for the equipment. These times are moved as well, automation and digital transformation, lots of buzzwords, but you do not hear too much about maintenance. Is that a mistake? A really mistake, because maintenance is more and more driving the success, even in a more and more automized and digitalized world. And you have to keep in mind that in the last 35 years, Uh, even in Europe and the United States, the maintenance volume increased four times. In some industry, maintenance has always been a factor of success. From your point of view, what happens to the other industries? Yeah, when you, when you look in, in maintenance intensive industry, like uh, raw material processing, chemical industry, high tech, automotive, aviation industry, uh, maintenance, uh, has an impact up to nearly 60% of the productivity of the equipment, as you already mentioned. For this reason, uh, it's even with a more and more automized uh, industry, maintenance is becoming more and more uh, strategic success factors for these industries, for all of our production industries. And predictive maintenance is becoming more and more important. But what does it really mean, predictive maintenance? Predictive maintenance means that you know when something will happen and the equipment could fail. Yeah? And for this reason, you have to analyze the data of real-time data of the equipment. You have put the right sensors in the equipment and you see when the functionality of the equipment goes down and the failure could appear. And you make in the forefront of an unplanned failure the necessary maintenance task that the failure doesn't appear and the equipment runs on a sustainable basis. And what additional developments in asset management determine the profitability of tomorrow's industrial production? Very strong, of course, uh, mobile maintenance. So practical, you see, you have a handheld, your maintenance guy has a handheld and he gets all related information in the forefront and knows what we has to do. So the di digital integration is very, very important. And even it's very, very important that when you now are now creating new plants, which you know that they are very expensive and you have to operate this, these plants for the next 10, 20, 30 years, you even uh, make in the design of these uh, production equipment the necessary Uh, equipment available. And how could it work practically? So in a, in a, in a future factory, for example, when a failure could appear, uh, an automatic message notification uh, will go to the maintenance guy. In the background, the CMMS system makes the reservation of the relevant spare parts, makes the scheduling of the necessary maintenance job and recommends the maintenance guy what he has to do and he can go to the machine, the machine on a planned maintenance task, he fixes the failure and nothing appears and the equipment runs on a sustainable basis. And maybe this uh, sounds like um, science fiction, but in the next five to 15 years, this will become reality. It's Blechschmidt. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. Join us next time at The Business Debate.